Up next on our seemingly endless list of cannabinoids within the hemp cannabis plant is CBC. Alright, so CBC, or cannabichromine, is yet another wonderful cannabinoid found inside the hemp cannabis plant. And don't worry, CBC is not psychoactive whatsoever, so you will not get that euphoric high that you're used to getting with something like Delta-8, Delta-9, or another psychoactive cannabinoid. One study actually found that CBC both reduced nitrous oxide production and treated colitis in rodents. And once clinically verified, this could lead cannabichromine to become a wonderful treatment for irritable bowel diseases like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. And because of those reduced nitrous oxide levels we saw in the research, this could also lead cannabichromine to become a wonderful pain manager. And the research is continuing to point to more beneficial properties found in CBC. And these potentials include being antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, and antidepressive. One of CBC's most exciting potentials to date actually has to do with your brain. A different rodent study from 2013 actually found that CBC promoted neurogenesis. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, neurogenesis is brain cell growth. And if clinically verified, along with all the other research behind these wonderful cannabinoids, this would be a monumental milestone behind neurodegenerative diseases, how we approach them, and how we treat them. We're excited to find out how much of our audience has actually tried CBC before, so let us know in the comments below if you've ever had an experience with CBC-based products. And as always, Global Community, make sure you like this video if you liked it, comment underneath, subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and hit the bell so you know when we upload next. As always, this has been Will here with Bloomble. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.